Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Um, yeah, I'm sitting here, arms crossed, sitting here a little upset um, because um, I, I got to say, Bob, Dan, this wasn't around when I was sitting there for four hours on Pong, you know, <laughs> playing my Atari game. My parents telling me I had to go out there and get an education, a job, and I wanted to say, well, I want to play games for the rest of my life. And they're like, well, you're not going to be able to do it. There's no college for that. And then I find out Ottawa University has an eSports degree, which is amazing. And talking with this gentleman here, Dan, telling me about the sports he's in, the money that they're making. But you're telling me that this is a great opportunity for all those kids who are sitting at home and wanting to do gaming. And it's not just about playing the games. There's more to it. Uh, which is, again, I'm sitting there going, Pong, I could have been, I could have had a degree in Pong, you're telling me this? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite a degree in Pong, but definitely a, a competitive sport that you compete in, yeah. uh, you'll earn a scholarship. And, um, and that's why I think if you're a parent out there, you really need to pay attention to this, uh, especially yeah. if you have young kids who are playing sports on the, on the video games or any of Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, um, the basketball games and different things like this there is a place they can go to and learn more and actually degree in it at, at the university here. You will compete in as a sport um, while earning a degree in one of the programs offered by Ottawa University. So that's kind of the, don't get a, you're not getting a degree in esports, but you're learning maybe production in esports, how to do a live stream, how to do sound design. Uh, there's a lot of peripheral jobs around esports besides just doing the game. Yeah. And, and I want people to understand that uh, Ottawa University has been around for what, over 100 years? 155 years. 155 years. 155 years. Um, the Surprise uh, campus has been here for about four years, yeah, is it now? Four years. And so you guys have really went out and saw the need to educate people and what actually listening to your students and listening to the community on what they want to find degrees in and learn more about. And this is where this came about. Correct. So, I can, all right, Dan, you're young. I know uh, me and him were 35, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. Uh, <laughs> Generous. <laughs> but this is really cool. Um, as we were talking, you have attended the university, mm -hmm. and now you are a, an instructor there, kind of. Yeah. Um, with this, let's talk about esports. What is this all about as a parent who is sitting at home right now? Well, so. Esports, a lot of people look at it as like the, oh, I'm going to play video games for my live livelihood. And there's a lot of confusion with that, whereas, yes, there are the players and the people who are able to just play the video game at the top level and make money doing that. But then beside that, there's also who's running the show, who's recruiting for teams, who's coaching these people, who's uh, creating the graphic designs for the game, who's commentating. Like people can talk about the game and make a living, and so that's pretty much like what esports is about. Is it's not just people playing games; it's a love for the games and a love for the community, but also just all these big pieces coming together to make the this beautiful thing that I've been able to be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Bob, you being an instructor, you you were a gamer, I'm and a gamer, so yes. it's really neat to know that you know the kids are going to have someone who is experienced in different ways too, but also talking their language on gaming. And as Dan said, about not just sitting there and playing the game. There's a lot more that goes into exactly. it. Exactly. And that's kind of where I came in as, you know, I had a background in IT, graphic design. You know, I've worked on Fortune 500 companies doing their designs, so it all kind of dovetailed into, hey, I can do esports. You know, everything I've done applies directly to that as far as production and how it all fits together. So, so. Amazing. And, and we're talking what's really cool is that there's scholarships for this. And actually, yes. there's companies that are paying kids and paying, well, even adults mm -hmm. to come take your class, which is really neat. So you could have a job very easily in this. Yes. You can get, you can make a career out of it. Um, we're, we're looking for students that want to come to Ottawa, get an education, compete in esports, uh, and have a good, good time doing it. So yeah. that's that's what we're looking for. I think that's amazing. All right, now, mom, dad, pay attention to this. <laughs> all right, Dan, tell me about your first experience here when when you were getting into this and and your parents were like, yeah, whatever. And then what happened? So I grew up like super nerdy gamer like of course I did my sports as well but it was like when I got home video games that's what I wanted to do and my parents were always like go do something productive go outside go catch a football go practice with that and so um, that was pretty much what it was and then one day I found out that there were actually tournaments for Super Smash Bros which is one of the games I compete in and I found out there were tournaments and I was like mom dad like I want to go do this and they're like okay I didn't have my license I didn't have a job so I didn't really have a way to pay for it so they were kind of footing the bill and after a couple months they were like all right 
we're done with this. Like, if you want to do that, you have to get your driver's license, you have to get a job, like your own way to make this a part of your thing. And so I did that for a while, and then uh, it was kind of just like their secondary thought. It was like, oh, he does this for fun, it's not really going to amount to anything, like football or college, that's going to be his, uh, his future. Yeah. And then one day I came home from a tournament, and it wasn't much, but I paid $5 to enter, and I came home with like $80 from winning. And I was like, <laughs> guys, mom, dad, look what I made. Like, here, here's my money, I did it. And um, after that moment, they kind of realized, they're like, he might be able to make something out of this. And then over the next couple years, I started traveling more, I started competing. I was uh, regularly top three in the state of Kansas. And like getting to travel and compete in games and make money, like that paid for a lot of my college. It was great. Oh, that is awesome. That's great. And, and Bob, let's talk about the college, because again, it's a great opportunity for, uh, for everybody, all the different it things is. that's offered there. But this is one that you're saying that is definitely you know, great to get into. Yes. And you guys have, a great thing about it is that you're there to work with everybody. You know, everybody's on budgets, everybody is working you know, to make sure they further their education. And that's where you guys come in right. with the whole university to make sure with all the different things you offer. Yes, in our program, you know, we're not looking for the elite players only. Like our program's open to any gamer, you know, so don't feel like you have to be top 100 in the world to come to Ottawa and be on our team. If you have a passion for gaming, if you want to get into, I want to live stream, come to Ottawa University and you can take part in that, you know. We, we offer flex scheduling too, which allows you to Gosh. spread your credit hours over a long period of time so you have more time to game, study, you're not cramming yourself. Yeah. It's a, it's a benefit. So, all right, so listen, when I was, uh, I was probably your age um, here, uh, I was traveling around and uh, I, I played pinball. Pinball. Uh, sure. I'm not going to drop any names, but <laughs> Pinball Wizard. Uh, me and this guy named Elton, well, actually, uh, you know, Tommy. Uh, was his name. Uh, you know, we play, and, and it was really, Tommy was blind, you know, and deaf, uh, but he sure could play a mean pinball. Wow, that's yeah, amazing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing about this. This is where, you know, again, you're getting opportunities to, yes. to do this, and you're, and you're great that you're experiencing doing this and stuff, which is really awesome. So, again, it's the eSport program there. Mm -hmm. uh, and when do classes start up? Are we going right now? Is it something you could jump in We are going time? now. Yeah, we have spring one going right now. We have spring two starting very soon, and then we'll go into our fall. And that's kind of part of our flex scheduling is you can take two credit hours here, take three here, and spread that out over a period of time and have more time to do the things you need to do. I love it. Like all right. study. Look at the <laughs> bottom of the screen right there, and that is where all the information is for Ottawa University. Uh, in the Surprise Campus, which is uh, really cool. So, and I'm glad you guys are, are here, and I'm glad I'm getting to meet you. Yeah, thanks and for I'm having gonna Definitely, I'm crossing my arms back. I'm making a call to my mother, telling her that I could have been a Pong champion <laughs> and a degree in it. So, thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.